Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking all about drugstore gems under the $20 price point. We do have one product in here that is $22, but other than that, everything is under $20. These are some of my current favorites, products I've been testing out, products that I'm really loving right now. But I'm really excited because all these products are more summertime geared and like summer skin centric. So. I think you're really gonna love them. First product I want to highlight is an SPF. This is Elf's Woe Glow. This is just a really beautiful, luminous, pearly SPF. It's SPF 30. Um, I'm always really surprised when I try chemical sunscreens and they don't cause any sort of irritation or eczema flare up on my skin, which I am always prone to, so I am always really nervous when trying new products. I just tried a new sunscreen about a week ago and I'm already getting acne. So a lot of times chemical sunscreens screens do cause like an acne response in my skin. I've been using this consistently and had no issues with it whatsoever. I like how most days when I wear this, I can skip out on everything else, illuminator, highlighter, anything that I want some extra glow from. I feel like this tends to do the job, especially days where you're wearing lighter coverage base products because it really peeks out from behind those base products. I have two priming products that I want to touch on, both illuminating, similar but different. So so the first one we do have is from Pixie. This one retails for $22, so I'm sorry, we're $2 over that $20 marker, but this is so good, I had to throw it into this video because I love this. So this is the Pixie Flawless Beauty Primer Hydrating Glow Primer. This is stunning. It has such a beautiful, quite intense strobe, but can be sheared out as well. So it's a lot if you wear a lot of the products, but if you use the right amount, it's a very natural amount of luminous pearl. I like that the pearl throughout the product itself is nice and consistent so you don't get any flecky bits of glitter or apparent, you know, flex on the skin showing on the makeup. Now what I like about this one is it has a soft blurring effect. Typically not something I would go for, but this is a really nice natural blurring effect. So I think it's perfect for the summertime, especially if you're like a little bit more prone to oiliness on your makeup. I think that this will help kind of combat the oil throughout the day and the color on it is just so beautiful. Not particularly moisturizing though. So if you do have more of a dry skin type year round. I found this one from Ulta Beauty. It's the Inner Glow Illuminating Lotion. This one is significantly more moisturizing, but still the same type of vibe. A really gorgeous, lightweight, gold, just like beautiful, almost got a little bit of orange to it as well. So it's really warm and it wakes up the complexion. Like it makes you look really healthy and radiant. And because of that orangeness to the product itself, like I'm not saying like orange as in like fake tan orange, but it's just got a little bit more warmth to it. And I think it just negates some dullness in the complexion. And I do like how this one makes my skin feel nice and moisturized for all day. So it feels much more like a lightweight gel cream moisturizer versus like a traditional primer. This one feels a little bit more like a silicone primer to me, but not heavy and not quite as much like another layer of makeup. And I do find the strobe on the Pixie one to be significantly more intense. So you can see it a little bit more, but this one, is just a little bit more of a subtle version. However, like I said, you can blend out the pixie one and it looks really nice and sheer too. So this one's a little bit more blurring and oil combating. And then this one is more geared towards feeling nice and moisturized throughout the day. Maybelline came out with a skin tint and I am obsessed with it. This is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour skin tint. This is part of the Superstay line, which previously I haven't always been the biggest fan of. With the dry skin type, I do find quite a few of the complexion products from the Super's Day line to emphasize dryness and just be overly matte on my skin to where it just never really looks that good most of the time. But the skin tint is so good. I find this to be really nice and buildable. It has vitamin C in it and I think it looks so healthy and youthful on the skin. I love the buildable coverage. And because it is part of the Super Stain line, I do find it to have really great longevity regardless of prep or set. I oftentimes never use powder with this. I can't think of a time, actually now that I'm thinking of it, I've been wearing this pretty consistently and I can't think of a time when I've even set this with powder. And I have had zero issues with premature fading, the makeup breaking th down throughout the day or cracking and crumbling on my skin. It just always looks so good and it also shears out magnificently. A lot of times 
I feel like skin tints, you shear them out, they completely lose all the coverage and they're more so in the drugstore range. A lot of the skin tints I've tried, I find them to be either no coverage at all or like light coverage foundations. I feel like this has more of a true skin tint feel where it's very fluid and serum-like and applies much like a skincare product versus like a base coverage product. So it's very elegantly formulated in my opinion and just wears so beautifully. I'm the shade 312 in this. Joa also released a new foundation. This is the Crystal Glow Peptide Infused Foundation. I wear the shade MW020. And what I like about the Crystal Glow Foundation is that it has a really soft, very powder, like light powdered radiant finish on the skin. Light to medium coverage, buildable, feels very comfortable and breathable on the skin as well. It just feels so nice. And I was actually anticipating this one to be really dewy but it's much more of a natural skin finish, which I love. And the more you wear it throughout the day, the dewier it progressively gets. So that initial application within two hours, you're gonna start noticing it gets more dewy the longer you have it on, but it doesn't like start breaking down or anything. It's just your skin's natural oils will start to kind of mesh with the product. And I think this is one of those foundations that looks better the longer that you wear it. I love the way this looks. I love the way that this feels. Like I said, light to medium coverage, so really nice and buildable. Um, I would say for me personally, I feel like the Maybelline Skin Tint is more dewy and a little bit more versatile and it does have, I feel like this on my skin type at least, this seems to build up to more full coverage than the Joa one. So they're both really great, but the Super Stay one, you can really build this up to the point that it almost looks like a medium to full coverage foundation, or you can really sheer it out to where it looks like nothing on the skin. And then this one's just like a pretty in-between light coverage foundation. These next two concealers deserve all the hype, all the spotlight. You're going to be seeing a ton of these on my channel and just like on my, you know, video platforms like Instagram and TikTok, but... I am obsessed with these. So the first one I want to talk about, I am so hyped over this concealer. I am so in love with it. I'm so excited about it. I cannot wait to share this with you. So this is the Pacifica Dreamlit Glow Concealer. First of all, it's beautiful. Like I love everything about the way that this looks. It's in this like gorgeous glass bottle. It just feels so luxe, so beautiful. Like this feels like Obviously not the color scheme, but this actual concealer bottle, it feels like Victoria Beckham Beauty to me. Like it is gorgeous. And the formula is insane. This is one of the creamiest, glowiest, without being like overly radiant concealers I have ever used. I feel like this, the more I use it, the more I fall in love with it. Like I genuinely have been reaching for this concealer over a lot of my other high-end concealers. You know how obsessed I am with concealers. The shade is perfect, like everything about this is so good. I wear the shade number nine and it is creamy, it is dreamy, it has the most angelic light veil of luminous pearl throughout it. So it brightens the under eyes, it adds that depth and luminosity to the skin to really give you that lit from within glow. You can use it to do a little bit of light highlighting on the skin as well buildable coverage so anywhere between light sheer barely there to medium to full i'm not you're not you're like you're gonna be sick of me talking about it like this is the first time i'm mentioning it to you but you'll be seeing this a lot on my channel like i am obsessed with it okay now the other concealer i want to mention is the flower get real serum concealer i like this one as well it is luminous like it's slightly glowy but it's not as luminous as the one from Pacifica, but I still really do like how it has a little bit more of a sheeny finish on the skin And honestly, it really reminds me of the Huda Glowish concealer But amped up so this actually has like significantly better coverage than the one from Huda And it's obviously not as glowy as the Huda Glowish concealer But in terms of having kind of that marshmallow light fluffy feeling on the skin this has all that great like moisturization and um, just really keeps the under eye feeling nice and supple for long periods of time i like this so if you have a little bit more of a dry under eye this is fabulous like these are both really great for dry under eyes me i have super dry under eyes but these are so good 
Pixies on the glow bronzers. I feel like I'm collecting these like a maniac because I like the formula that much I think they are so great. So beginner friendly now if you're into more of a dramatic bronze probably not gonna be for you But just for example, like this is the darkest shade you can see it's quite sheer and really nice for just a natural amount of glow so that's beach glow warm glow is the pinky one i use this one for just like a light kiss of color on the cheeks so stunning and then i have rich glow which is just more of like a medium kind of like copper how beautiful are those like they're literally perfect especially for just a nice quick swipe of color on the skin without having to like go in and use 50 million tools to blend it out or feel like you have to be particularly precise and careful with your application you can literally just smudge these all over and they give you the most gorgeous dewy balmy finish on the skin i'm obsessed with these i love these i feel like these are such a treat to use and i think they always just look so good i've also been super impressed with the kiko milano stick products so the radiant touch creamy stick highlight and then the sculpting touch creamy stick contour this creamy stick contour is beautiful and really nice and buildable as a product i also think the shade is perfect for contour it's not a completely gray lifeless brown so it's not gonna look sallow on the skin and I do think that it replicates a shadow really nicely and it just blends out really gorgeous it's nice and emollient easy to blend out doesn't lose too much intensity when you're blending it out but you can still sheer it out really nice as well and it just feels so buttery and silky when you're blending it out I love that and I have the contour stick in shade 201 the highlight which i have in shade 100 same thing really nice lightweight super silky emollient cream highlight and it blends out really nice and sheer so you can get more of like a natural payoff with this one and it doesn't look too intense when it's applied to the high points of the skin i really like how this is more of like a soft bubbly champagne shade really nice for just emphasizing high points on the skin and adding a little bit of luminosity without being like over the top i think we're all done with like super foiled over the top highlights but overall like super impressed with the quality of these sticks they are fabulous i need to get more shades of this blush because it is beautiful so this is from the ulta beauty line this is the blush beam cream blush i have mine in the shade cocktail hour which is the most stunning like light golden papaya and you will see how dewy and fabulous this swatch is just kind of like lightly tints the skin it's so gorgeous really nice and radiant so it's like that gorgeous papaya tone but it has a really beautiful gold pearlescence throughout it it is like the perfect blush shade for the summer and really just complements a skin like a sun-kissed look so perfectly i've used it on the lips as well and i really like it i love these types of tones during the summer but there's also other shades that i was eyeing and i wanted to see what the formula was like before i you know went in and got more but i love it it feels so beautiful and like really nice and balmy on the skin little eye products to talk about one is actually a blush but i don't like it on my face it kind of has a little bit of flecky glitter to it so i think it doesn't look as good on the cheeks but beautiful on the eyes so this is the palladio baked blush in the shade chocolate and this is what i'm wearing on my eyes today a really gorgeous kind of like garnet shimmery shade really stunning perfect for the summertime it's that baked formula so it has a little bit more of that luminous kind of like airbrushed finish on the eyes definitely try it on your cheeks if you're interested the color is stunning it's like this rich garnet copper but i just find that the little bits of micro glitter kind of stick out to me so i don't love it on my cheeks but on my eyes i love this as a shadow now the other one i want to talk about is the water shadow from kiko milano this is in the shade 200 first of all like it's so stunning and you can apply it wet for a little bit more intensity i don't think wetting it this is wet this is dry i don't think wetting it necessarily makes the biggest difference and you can see right here this is wet this is dry the intensity is picked up just a touch but what i really like using this for is an eyeshadow topper and just lightly putting it on top of the eyelids it gives you that really nice lustrous finish on the eyes the maybelline falsies surreal mascara everything about this i'm obsessed with down to the actual tube of mascara it has this very like old florida kind of like art deco vibe to it i am 
obsessed i just i love the way this looks in a makeup bag now the brush itself is a really gorgeous slightly tapered at the tip bristle brush i do have the waterproof version if you've used the maybelline falsies this is a little bit more lengthening but because it has the bristle brush you're still going to get volumizing effects from the mascara you're still going to get a little bit of wispiness which i really love but it's going to give you a lot of really great length and that's what i like about the falsies mascara i think i like this better than the original falsies as well i would say maybelline pretty much always hits it out of the park with bristle brush mascaras their plastic wands are kind of like a 50 50 chance if i'm actually gonna like it this has been my mascara of choice since i purchased it it's been living in my daily makeup bag next to my dior show mascara and my benefit bad gal bang and i've been reaching for this one it's just a little bit different than the mascaras that i'm using and i really love the length that i get from this so i think it's absolutely stunning and like it just it's so pretty I just I love this little tube finishing off with lip products I first want to touch on these palladio lip stains because they are amazing so these are basically the answer to anybody who wants some definition and color on their lips but hates the feeling of lip products or just doesn't want to have to fidget around where you have to touch up your makeup products throughout the day you can literally put these on once in the morning and they will pretty much last you all day that again depends on if you put anything balmy on top of it or if you're eating and drinking a lot it really depends but i have worn these multiple times on the weekends and not touched up all day or some days i have to touch up it just kind of depends the point is they're very long lasting and they're stain markers so you don't even feel like you have anything on your lips so i have the shade nude which is really fabulous for overlining and then pinky for just adding a little bit more fleshiness and depth to the lip color these are like my obsession right now my one of my favorite lip products ever now the other products i want to talk about are from flower beauty so first up we have the flower beauty bitten lip stain in the shade sweet Again, this comes in a little glass bottle, so very reminiscent of Victoria Beckham Beauty. Like It just it feels good. It feels luxe. We live for it. So this is the shade Sweet, and the product itself actually reminds me so much of the Bitten Lip Tint from Victoria Beckham Beauty. Sweet is this gorgeous kind of like mauve shade. It has that fabulous light lacquer glossy finish on the lips, and it's just such a pretty shade the longer you wear it the more the stain will develop and the longer it will actually last but i am obsessed with this shade specifically and then the flower plump up gloss sticks so i have two shades i have the shade toasty which is a gorgeous everyday nude really nice light um, not overly intense in terms of opacity so i think it just looks really fresh and just natural so that's what I like. I don't like anything fully opaque on my lips. Good old clear. This is the shade Icy. And again, I think it is just like a really nice glossy lipstick. I love these like glossy lipstick gloss. Like, you know, like the lip gloss balms that come in these little clicker pens. They totally remind me of the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips. Um, that's really the vibe that I get from these. They're not quite as glossy as the Hourglass phantom volumizing glossy lips like i think those are the glossiest as well as like the ysl ones like those are some of the glossiest lipstick balms you can get but these are right on par with the tarte maracuja juicy lips and i think they're really pretty perfect for every day so that's everything i wanted to mention for today's video i'm going to have my tiktok and my instagram in the description box i'll also list and link all these products for you down below i think i want to do a ten dollar drugstore gems video like every why do i feel like there's like a hair in my face right now um i think i want to do a drugstore gems under ten dollars video pretty soon so if you have any suggestions that you're really loving that are under the ten dollar price point please be sure to leave it in the comments down below so i can test it out for you but other than that i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching this one bye everyone